Good evening. We're here. This is happening. A couple of things to say before I start. Um, the music you'll hear tonight is by uh, a man called, uh, I just spaced his name, Perpetual, what's that? Yeah, thank you, Ellen. Tommy, Tommy Guerrero. Uh, so you'll hear the sound bed. We're experimenting with that. This is maybe the first time that's been done. From his album, Perpetual, and the cut is called Water in Your Hand. There are the photography uh, for this presentation is done by two photographers who are KGLT DJs as well. Ben Lloyd's will be in color. Trevor Nelson's will be in black and white. They gave me a whole selection of photos and I picked 20 for this evening's presentation. Okay, let's do this thing. I asked a close friend what he thought of KJLT. He said he loved that it was an independent voice, that the DJs could express their individuality, and that their music came from their heart, was sincere, and that they knew their music, independent, inspired, committed to sharing music we love. KGLT's FCC license is owned by Montana State Board of Regents. KGLT is operated as a program of MSU through the Associated Students Governing Body. We broadcast over six translators serving Bozeman, Livingston, Yellowstone National Park, Big Timber, Helena, as well as the internet with 12,000 watts of power. Here's Coulter Langen in the basement of the sub in 1983 in the Fishbowl studio. He says it was not unheard of for college girls to write requests on paper and press those and themselves against the studio glass to get what they wanted played on the air. I remember there being a lot of hair at KGLT in those days. <clears throat> Sound waves travel out of our mouth into the mic and through the broadcast equipment into the approved FM frequency. And off into deep space, each voice has its own frequency, its own signature. This is my voice signature. Unique voices broadcasting over independent radio. Here's a DJ searching and filing vinyl in our record collection of over 15,000 albums. The feel of a tattered album cover with its ripped but intact inner sleeve, the smell of vinyl, musty, oily, the way a record is spun, backing it up on the cue function to where the cut begins. These weird mini discs called CDs began showing up as a method of delivering sound in the late 80s. We have over 50,000 sorted into folk, bluegrass, blues, soul, rock, world, classical, local groups, Americana, electronica, and indie categories. Pictured here are the new rock releases. There's a small number of paid positions at KJLT. Ellen King Rogers is the station manager responsible for herding us KGLT cats. She took over the reins years ago from Phil Charles, who led the stations for years, bringing a more professional tone. Ellen was my apprentice over 20 years ago. Jim Kehoe wades through the tidal wave of new music that inundates KGLT. He is responsible for on-air sound quality, has been here for over 30 years, and is also in charge of the apprenticeship program that trains wannabe DJs on how to be an on-air announcer. You too can be an apprentice. Brody Cates is our audio producer responsible for the production of Christy the Wordsmith, Montana Moment, the recording of all public service announcements and special event promos. His capacity is to finesse sound, content, and flow, creating the consistency of sound you expect. He's the real deal. Ron Craighead is our marketing and PSA director responsible for engaging our community in supporting KGLT through in-kind donations, supervising the annual fund drive, program underwriters, and the artwork for our t-shirts, hoodies, and hats. Our executive staff manages the creative chaos that is us. Each DJ has free reign to play whatever music they wish as long as the lyrics don't offend with the seven naughty words. DJs have one, two, or three hour shifts weekly or bi-weekly. The on-air schedule changes three times a year, fall, winter, and summer, mirroring MSU semesters. There are between 50 to 60 DJs. We have a core group of veteran DJs, such as Paul Oliver, Bob Butts, and pictured here, Ron Sanchez. Ron has been a DJ for 49 years, hosting shows on KGLT for well over 30. His vinyl collection is legendary. He brings that and draws upon it for his shows. <clears throat> 
Rick James' Americana show is crafted from his personal connections with artists in his genre. Like other DJs, he's passionate about music. What makes his story even more compelling is that he is legally blind. His wife, Karen, assists him with his needs to be seen and read while Rick spins to his heart's desire. Kathy brings the Saturday morning bluegrass show in your eager ears. One of the most listened to on-air announcers, along with Deb Rubisco's Thursday morning cow jazz, these women with the likes of Nora, Rachel, Anna V, along with the chief announcer and a rotation of younger women, bless our airwaves with a feminine sound. Keith Suta and gang bring you the entertaining talk and music coffee show Wednesday afternoons. Keith, like other DJs, is engaged in our community, contributing in theater and radio dramas. The banter between these DJs creates a dedicated following. Their humor, spontaneity, and on-air ease makes you feel right at home. The individuality of our DJ core is legendary. Such names as The Wandering Jew, AKA Barrett Golding, Kara Wilder, Sarah Vowell, Rob Work, Missy O'Malley, share their radio origin story with KGLT. There are but a handful of radio stations in our country, maybe less than 10, that allow DJs free reign. There are many ways to frame the look of KJLT. As a station in its early 20s, we were the G-men and women who broadcast radio-free Bozeman, wild, zany, tribal, legendary post-fun drive show parties at Boulder Hot Springs. If it was quasi-legal and forbidden, we were dishing it up. We are radio-free Bozeman. We are now reaching our middle age, celebrating our 50th birthday in 2018. We have both, <clears throat> excuse me, we have been winging it since 1968. We have aged together in community, co-sponsoring such programs like the Bozeman Film Society, Doc Series, PBS, and ASMSU. There are times when tragedy strikes our radio community, whether it comes in the form of a drunk driver killing Annie or a lover murdering Darcy. The station is real, not contrived. When Darcy suddenly left us, a void in our Friday morning spot and an emptiness in our heart, we continue to broadcast music as solace. With your support, we will continue to broadcast our unfettered sound. Please be sure to pledge your support during our 50th anniversary spring 2018 fund drive. Come up to the station for a visit. Join the apprenticeship program. Have your business be an underwriter. We are playing our hearts out. We are broadcasting. Are you receiving? <laughs>